Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we learn how to use cookies in the React application. Well, it's not just for the React app, we can use the same with the Next.js application too. The process and the method will remain same. So to start with, let me show a simple demo how actually we are doing this thing. So if I write a username here, probably for the user Mohans, okay, let me open that inspect page and let me open the application section inside that there is a cookie site you can uh, collapse that thing and click on the uh, http localhost you can see which is the localhost my current so there is nothing in here right now once i click on the set cookie you can see uh, that is i got a notification saying that a cookie has been set uh, when i click that you can see the same name has been showed here and if i refresh this thing you can see that it has been added uh, loaded from the inside the cookie also the same thing has been added here and when I uh, when I click on the remove cookie, a uh, no toast will be showed. After that, when I click on the OK, you can see the name has been removed. And when I refresh that, the same thing has been removed from the cookie also. Okay, so great. So I have created actually uh, two things here. One is for the demo, and one is for the login page. From the login page, you can actually I'll explain uh, how we are actually doing it in real time. Uh, real-time application or uh, even though we are not exactly calling from the back end i'll just create a dummy i have created a dummy data uh, you can consider this as a api response we are getting from the back end when we click on the login button uh, okay so let's start with the demo itself anyways so to begin with let me go to the package.json uh, by the way i'm using the wheat react here you can go with the create react tab wheat or even the next yes the method will be the same uh, for this uh, pu video purpose, I have created a through the Vite React since it's faster. Uh, so if you if you uh, see in the dependencies, I have only one dependency I have installed, which is a React cookie. Even if you are seeing from the dev dependency, I haven't installed any third-party application. Uh, despite these are from the Vite itself, when we install the Vite, we'll be able to install all those things itself. So right now, uh, from uh, by the way, I haven't removed any CSS from the app.css and index.css because I wanted to keep this uh, like a better than a empty thing right so I don't have to spend a bit time for the CSS also uh, our main goal is not to about the CSS in this thing just to learn the cookie okay fine so let me close all these things and let me go to the app file here I have created a, inside the component I have created the two files demo and the login file so uh, first of all i'll show you the demo inside the demo file uh, you can see i have imported a use cookie uh, which is basically a function part of a model inside the cookie react cookie so inside that we'll be having three things one is cookie set cookie and a remove cookie as the name suggests inside the cookies we'll be able to have a access of all the cookies which are say stored in here whatever the cookies we are stored in here right all those things will be we will be able to access that cookies from this one and the rest of things uh, as the name it says a uh, set cookie will be help us to uh, adding the cookies and this is to remove the cookie and this thing username is actually a key uh, which we are getting here right in the name actually if you are aware of the local storage and session storage and if you are aware of how to use it then this is much more uh, like you are able to will be able to understand 99% of the concept of the react cookie just similar to that itself uh, so in here what i have done here is uh, let me show the jsx code uh, just a h1 tag and a form a simple form which uh, with the username and when i do uh, changes from the input field uh, the, the changes will be captured and it will be set to the username here uh, you can see i've created a state empty state that will be stored in here and inside the cookie now i have inside the another div i have two buttons one is for the set cookie and for the another one is for the remove cookies okay great so one hour uh, just you can ignore the css and all okay fine uh so inside here when i click on the set cookie button what exactly happens is uh, you, this function will be called handle set cookie i have created a two function here one is for the handle set cookie and handle remove cookie uh by the way you don't have ex you don't need to create this function or uh, you can just copy this thing and you can just call it directly from here uh, but you know to improve the web application performance it's always recommended to create a function outside uh, rather than doing an inline function right uh, so yeah that thing uh, so here inside i'll be calling that set cookie and we'll be giving the username which is a 
key array key name which we will be using here right so that key name should be same as what we have written here just in case if i write something else here maybe if i add extra e you will be seeing that there is an error so it says that whatever key names you are writing here right that should be present inside this array so it can be anything for example if i write here demo okay now we have two key names if i add a for example right now i have a username key i'm use what when i click on the set cookie username key will be added here i'll show you oh uh, you can see now on username has been added but if i in place of the username if i click right as a demo and the error is not showing because we already have that key in the array and uh, let me delete this thing and if i set the cookie again you can see the name will be demo and the same value has been stored here so that's about this thing uh let me uncomment that thing. okay great so here uh, after that this is the key name and this is the username which is a state uh, we want to save this particular thing inside this username key so and after that the path indicates that uh, right now this is a single slash which means this cookie whatever the cookie we have say created here right that is about we can have access to this cookie inside any i mean any of the route here if i go to about page since i don't have any routes here right now it will throw error uh, just i told you uh, we can if i go to any of the route we will be able to have access to that particular cookie but if i write for example if i write here about uh, you won't be able to have access here right now or uh, you can see that will show as a cookie not set okay uh, so yeah let me go back again so after that now we have that thing the next thing i created is a handle remove cookie from this one we'll be able to remove delete the cookie which is present in the, uh, our chrome or a browser so the method is same as like we are using for the set cookie we just have to pass the key name and rest it will delete that <coughs> okay uh, from here i have there is nothing in the jsx code just <coughs> input field and uh, two buttons and this is where we are actually fetching the data like i said this is for the fetching the cookies and this is for setting and removing with this one uh, just in case if you are even if you remove this remove cookie and if you want to use this thing uh, let me just comment this one this will work <coughs> but if you remove these cookies and for example there is a page in your application where you don't want to fetch any cookie but you do we have you want to just add a cookie in that case uh, you will think like i want this set cookie but it won't work because you need like we in a state how we are using right it always expects a cookie uh, so you always need to have a cookie here uh, then only uh, the error is gone now so yeah in this one you can see i haven't done much uh, just calling the cookie and the username which is a uh, that name which is present in here that will be called if there is no name this is just a ternary operator i hope you know about this thing right uh, so yeah so this is the demo thing now if i show you the uh, login page right let me comment this and uncomment okay cool and let me delete this thing also <coughs> now you can see i have two input fields basically these two fields uh, doesn't mean anything right now i'm just uh, show added here just to make sense it's a login page uh, and the login button here uh, for example if i write here example at gmail.com and password something maybe okay i have added a, a click on the login button now you can see the data has been fetched and if i refresh here you can see user data and in your case the default might look like this which is a non parsed one so when you click on the show url decoded you will get a proper added uh, proper uh, uh, parsed thing uh, so uh, i'll be having now i have a button called logout also when i click on the logout button the thing uh, the fetch data has been gone and even if i refresh from it it will be deleted from here too so the logout actually the thing is same like what we have taught, what i taught in the demo uh, inside this the only thing i have done is uh, i'll show you uh, I, same thing i just imported the use cookies and we have three things inside there cookie set cookie and remove cookie and uh, i have given the key name as user data uh, which i showed you right now here user data so after that uh, then this this uh, user data is nothing but i have stored the cookie since we have to uh, i want to pass to i want to, i wanted to show that names and all here right so rather than doing this thing every time i just created a variable and uh, 
these things whatever the present whatever items are present inside this thing will be added to this one and i'll be able to access that inside like this user user data dot name like this okay uh, after that i created one uh, object which is you can consider it as a like a dummy api response we are getting once we click on the login button and inside the handle login button you can see i've created the same thing uh, i'm calling that particular key name here and we are just since i told you it's an object we have to stringify that and i'm passing that dummy response side here in your case it will be for example if you get any response here that response will be sent here and the path which i explained you earlier and this is the logout button uh just same as the remove cookie okay <coughs> so from here uh so yeah that's all about in this thing uh the second thing i want to talk about is the key regarding the key for example right now you can see i have only added one key right here right so just in case if you want to add like i taught you earlier earlier if i want to add a demo here right now I, because i want to have uh, two cookies uh, so i added another index here demo and if i click on the set cookie when i click on the login button and let me do that and in here <coughs> demo and inside here let me just save <coughs> mohas <coughs> okay i'll just call, call my name now if i click on this, let me delete this thing and if i add here and if i refresh thing you can see okay i have since it was a parsed thing <coughs> you can see it has been string it was already string if i have i had string over that my bad uh, so yeah we will be able to have access to do like this so the better approach would be rather than doing like this because you might not be whenever we click on the logout button we want that all the whichever cookies has been added here right if you want to delete everything then the better thing could be you can create a like maybe a library folder and inside that oh, one util file maybe or a helper function whatever it can be i usually go with the util file util dot ts and inside here i'll create one uh, variable export const cookie items and inside that i have created a, a array and i'll call whichever the whichever uh, cookie i'll be using in my throughout the application all the items i'll be adding here so just in case i don't have to come back to the login page and search for the login page and i have to add here right so to avoid that one i'll come here and i'll add the create then array and it will be exported and once i come back here i'll just call that cookie items here okay great now it has been imported and you can see there is no error here it's showing or oh, it's easily available and we can use directly from here so yeah this is actually the benefit of this thing you know, we don't have to write every time uh, even if you are going for the other pages when your application becomes huge right so at that time it will be difficult to manage all the cookies at a place but if you have created something like this you will be able to know that which are the cookies present and if you don't want to add have or remove something then you can directly remove from here even for the logout button also in a click you can remove all the present thing from here itself right uh, so yeah that's all about this thing i hope you understood i know this is just a basic uh, there is no nothing complicated to understand in this one if you have if you are familiar with the lo local storage and a session storage then this is much is much more easier for you uh, so yeah if you need any like more real time application usage of this react I can surely make a video on that actually I am working on a admin dashboard which I'll be I know I'm not frequent on this channel but I'll try to be from now on uh, and yeah uh, I'll be yeah as I said I'll be I'm working on an admin dashboard uh, but since it's a static page uh, I'm not I'm not going to use this thing uh, but later on eventually I'll be creating a full step application I'll be like we'll be able to create an app from the scratch and deploying using the cloud using the docker everything uh, you will get to know everything from the basic even if you are a beginner or uh, yeah it's fine it's a it's a concept of the later we'll yeah, get to know let you know that by then uh, so yeah that's all about this uh, i hope you understood uh, if you have any doubt regarding this or regarding anything you can just comment down or you can personally dm me through the linkedin i'll be available there also uh, so yeah, that's all. Thank you.